Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to explain you how you can use uh, logging filters with respect to rest assured in your test framework. Uh, this tutorial is going to be very short. And when you enable logging filters feature in your test framework, uh, basically you will be able to see the whole of the request that's hitting your REST API and the response coming out of the REST API as part of the console output where your uh, tests are running. So, and when you are running the tests as part of Jenkins, you might not want the whole of the request and response being logged out there. So, by default, you can have low lo logging level and whenever you are debugging something uh, with the failed test, in your functional test phase or integration phase, then you can enable high level logging. So let's see how you can do that uh, with rest assured. Let me share my screen. Sorry, let me turn on the light. Okay. So um, now I'm going to create a, so I'm going to create a class called logging util in the utilities. So just to let you know, in the previous tutorial, I have explained you how to uh, do a get call with rest assured. So I'm going to use the same call for this tutorial. And here you can see there uh, that I'm printing the response. So I'm going to take out the that print statement because when I use logging filters, it will log it for me if I choose high logging. So I'll just remove that and let me create a Java class called logging, sorry, logging util. So in this logging util, so my plan is to supply a property called log level from the command line when you run your test via Maven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a variable Final uh, string logging level equal to system dot get property get property. So let me name it as log level and I will this has to be public method. I'll define a static method which returns me the list of rest assured filters because when I enable high logging, I want to have request and response logged as part of that. So I just need list of filters. Okay. So list of filters being written. Oh God. Okay. So I want list of filters being written and I'm going to name this as get logging filters. So if logging level equal to null, that means if I haven't supplied one, it has to go with the low logging level. And if I supplied low as my logging level, then also just to avoid null pointer, so I'm just having this uh, low dot equals my logging level. So if uh, either if I don't supply logging level or if I supply the logging level as low, I just want uh, my list of filters to be, so let me declare list of filter and um, I'll call it as Rest assured filters equal to new error list. And then as part of this, I'm going to add when it is low logging level, I just want error logging filter to be returned. Okay. Otherwise, uh, rest assured filter. Why did I name it with caps lock? Let me refactor, but naming convention is not correct. Rest assured filters, that's the correct thing. So dot add, when my log level is other than low or not being supplied, that means high. So I want new request logging filter. Sorry, I think I just choose response anyway. 
So I need one of them to be request and another one to be response. Okay, so when my logging level is low or uh, if I don't supply default, it, it is going to be low and uh, only errors will be logged as part of low level logging. And um, if it is high level logging, we are going to log the whole of the request as well as the response that's coming out of the REST API. So written REST assured filters, okay. So I'm returning the REST assured filters here. And now if I go into REST assured and just con do control space there, you can see filters. So in that filters, you can just call that class and get login filters. So based on my log level, it's going to uh, return the uh, list of filters. So now uh, let me run the tests without any log level being provided. So my command would be, what is the profile name? I don't remember. So my profile ID is CI hyphen test. So the command would be Maven clean verify minus P CI hyphen test. So I'm running the test without any log level provided. So that means I'm just enabling the log level. And what I'm going to do, I don't want this calculator feature to run. I just want the REST API feature to run. And test runner four is going to run Bhavani four, which is Bhavani four for REST API test. Okay. So for now, I'm just going to comment out all of the test runners as well, which are, sorry, which are related to calculator feature. <laughs> I don't need that calculator feature right now for this tutorial. So, okay, I'll run the command now. Okay, so now it's a default log level. So it hasn't logged anything with respect to rest, uh, request and responses. And let's say if your application has errored, then it would log in this case, because when uh, your log level is low, you are returning only error logging filter. Uh, so let's say I supply minus P what is my property name? It's log level. So if I supply minus T log level equal to high, then it should log the whole of the request and response. Okay. And so you're making a get call and then the whole of the response is being logged. This is very big output, so you won't be able to see. I have to run the test again. So you can see the whole of the request and the headers you are providing and the response also you are able to see now as part of the console output. So that's how you have to enable log levels. Uh, hope this is quite easy for you and you'll start using this feature for your tests. Okay, um, let's meet with another tutorial in some time from now. <laughs> okay then, bye. Bye for now. <laughs>